Yo, 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 it's Makio back with another video. I got my little hat on, a little beanie, because my hair looks like a mess right now. But back another video. Today, I want to talk about taking risk in your life. So this year, I, like, I, like, I think in the other videos I said, I started learning Japanese, and this moment I'm starting Korean. If I didn't just jump into it and just go, I would have never been here this month speaking at least what I think is decent. I don't know about K-pop. I don't I don't even know nothing about anything Korean. Like I just like, you know what, why not? I just try to expand knowledge, send my knowledge. If I'm if I'm not going to school, because I feel like education is important, but you don't you don't gotta spend the fucking hours. Not hours, you don't gotta spend thousands of thousands of thousands of dollars for it if your parents can pay for like a tutor or something else that help you. If you think I can help you because yeah I don't know college that's a whole another thing but taking a risk is just important like I don't know you just think to see a significant change in your life like you, you gotta take a risk you gotta just sleep out and just and just go because if you don't you're gonna be sitting in the same place and wonder why you're not moving nowhere I think I learned this when when my ex left me it was like right before senior year and we were thinking about, about life and what we wanted to do. I just thought I was gonna be with her. I thought I was gonna be with her to go to school and that's it. I, I don't know how I found it, but I found like something about Japan, Japan and stuff like that. And like just music and then just videos. I was like, damn, like, you know, like I think I wanna go right there. I, 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 think, I think it's cool. But I never acted on that. Like, like, yo, let me start learning. Oh, I did. So I started learning basic hiragana and all that stuff, but I never went to the next level. Cause I don't know. I didn't think that I needed a teacher to help me, but I was actually done. Like, I was really stupid. Like, I actually needed someone or a speaker to help me fucking go to the next level. But yeah, anyways, taking risk. Taking risks is important in your life. Taking L's are important in your life because it, it, it gives you like a, like, a, like a path. It gives like a path to go on and to kind of see like what you want to do and what you like. So I feel like a lot of people, they just live life droning. Like just NPCs, they don't really have like they, they just go, they just go and they don't have any other type of, any type of drive. They just do it because other people tell them to do it and they just, that's just their life. They're like, oh, my dad told me to do this. Let me just do that. And just, they don't want to take their lives in their own hands. And it's crazy. Even now, like, what was it called? In the summer, I'm about to apply to some like acting school type thingy or just to get started because like, Ever since high school, I knew I wanted to do something like with entertainment or just being on camera, just looking at myself or talking to myself. Like like like, like right now, right now, kind of, yeah. But I said voice actor because I wasn't sure if I could even do all the like, the facial, the face cam, all that stuff. And then like, I think recently, like this year, it was when I was like, you know what, like, I know that I want, like, but I don't want to do voice acting. I really, I really want to do just acting on my face and just seeing me on camera and just be in movies and stuff. So, so yeah. So I just took that and once I get enough money from the job I'm about to get, it's gonna just do that. Put all that money into the acting class. It's like eight, eight hundred dollars, six hundred dollars. I think six to eight hundred dollars. I think they said. So yeah, I'm just like, well, I'm still nervous about even starting, cause like, like you know, like I, I feel like. It's a little bit of anxiousness, like, it's like, oh, can I actually do this stuff? Can I actually act? Will I be able to talk in front of people and, like, do all this public stuff? But I don't I don't know. I just have to go and see and try, and then hopefully, hopefully it works out. Because after that, I want to, I, I want to do that and then act and act in Japan. So I'm learning Japanese right now for that, too. Also Korean, because who knows, like, fucking... Who knows, who knows, who, like, who knows what could happen, like, oh, like, but it's not even possible, like, how, like, like, where you're black, like, how do you, like, how are you even about to actually even start acting there when it's 98% Japanese or Korean people in those industries, and it's like, like, I seen, like, I seen some, I seen a fucking actor, a black actor in, in a fucking Korean drama, so I'm like, and then I started thinking, I was like, if he could do it, I could try to do it and whatever happens happens and if I end up being the biggest or whatever if I even and I'm only making one one film there or whatever people just don't like like me I'm gonna keep working hard 
I just keep putting in work because work is the only thing that could get you anything in this world. So everything you're doing right now is average. Unless you're actually going hard already, but yeah. This video was just, I guess me talking about risk and stuff that I want to do in my life. So who knows I was watching, who was watching, uh, yeah, hopefully you find yourself and you find what you want to do in your life and take risk and don't take nothing up the ass by anyone. So, yeah, it's been Makio. I'm out. Whew.